Well, hello everybody. It's been a while since we made a video. The last time we went out, we did do an overnight, but filming and stuff, we actually haven't gone over that video, but maybe we will include some of that in this video. But either way, we have been sitting idly by. We did some prop changes and stuff. I had a couple of props. They were Rev 4s that were prop scanned and the results were less than satisfactory and it was more of the fact of what it cost. I'm not gonna get into that whole drama of that. It's just, it just was disappointing of the results. When we put on a couple of Eco Inertias, 16 by 17 props, I'm actually meaning to test out the 18 sometime. So I feel that'll be the sweet spot for this boat. But either way, we tested them out and we didn't get the 10% that they advertised for those things. So we did that in the meantime. Uh, did some other changes. Our sleeping quarters we changed around a little bit. Hammocks instead of laying on the deck on hard cushions. But either way our plan is we're going to go out for at least one night, perhaps two. You'll find out in the video whether we've gone out for two nights. We're going to go out to some spots we've been before. Actually a spot we were the other night about a week and a half ago or so. Maybe even two weeks ago. And our plan is to go out there, we're going to fish that some this afternoon, tonight. And then tomorrow morning we're going to go out to about 200 feet of water, roughly, or about 28, 30 miles from where we're going to be, where we're going to spend the night. I'm going to go out seven miles beyond where we're going to fish this evening and check out a spot there so we have a little less of a drive to go. Uh, maybe we'll go a little further and we'll just get a little closer so then we can you know, spend less time driving the next morning. We're going to fish that and whatnot. We can't keep any certain groupers we could keep, but the majority of the groupers that are probably in that area we can't keep because they're closed. But I think that's our plan. And I did fix a reel. We've got a, we've got a reel that's an old reel. It's actually an old favorite I had. It was a Shimano Saros 4000. And I finally got a good bearing for it. I actually ordered parts for it. And parts weren't the right parts but I've got a ceramic bearing so hopefully that bearing lasts longer but so far so good with that it actually smoothed again made it great again uh, the last trip I had to retire a reel because it just didn't hold up it was one of those Procyon reels I think it just got some stuff in it whatever I didn't bother taking it apart because it's mag sealed and it was a cheap enough reel I figured what the heck I'll just replace it with something else and that Akuma we got that you saw in a video uh, it was actually the last video we made. That Akuma, so far so good. We took that out the other night. I really like the power in that reel, and if that reel continues to hold up for the price of $50, I probably would buy a couple more and, and uh, replace some of the Daiwas with those Akumas. But either way, it's enough blabbing on. That's our plan. And we'll see you out there, and hopefully the action's good. We're going to try something new today. We're actually going to be chumming more than we have in the past. We don't usually chum a lot because we like to do less is more, just like the kids' videos. So that's one thing that we will be doing different this time. We have two full pails of chum. I think they weigh 30 pounds a piece. So we'll be doing that. So either way, we'll see you out there. I don't know if you can see me that well. You can see the white in my face a little bit. This whole night fishing is different because, of course, you can't see very well. But if you could see the fish finder, there are fish up off the bottom. 40 foot level, there's not much below 100 feet. It's 100 and some feet here. I just had a Kibera, a small one. And it's um, a good sign. We haven't started, we haven't anchored yet, so once we anchor, what we're doing is doing a little drift just to kind of see where everything is because it's the best way to. That's a little better. Looks like it's got a little aggressive shake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That was crazy. Fish on? Yes. Bugger. How's it feel? A little bugger. I thought it was the yellow tail I had on it. It was a little cabara. You know? 
Yeah. The old tails are heated when they bite nice. It's a nice little fish out of here. That is not a gooper. That is a Cabrera snapper. I'm going to spass it in case I get some shit in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fight at the end. Show you the, the fish that we caught. That was a little cabrera snapper, not little. He was decent, decent sized cabrera. Cut him so he bleed out. Nice thing about nighttime is you don't have to worry about them sitting in the sun. Oh man, those are snapper. Nice, nice dry, nice. Oh, there you go. Chase time. That's it. That's that's. I hope it's better too. Sounds better. I don't know what your game said it. Ooh, ooh, it's pissed, dude. Dude! Dude! It's pissed, dude! Yeah, it is. <laughs> Shell's got a pissed off fish back here. Dude! The dude fish. I knew that there were some good ones here. We need to get the bigger ones. Those are good. I'm not complaining. Man, this is loaded here. God, if we, if I think if we get, there's fish up to 40 feet. This guy hit, like, I saw way. you. I was watching like you. I was, I was gone. I was watching cool. your YouTube video. I don't have a YouTube video. No, I was watching your YouTube video, and you're reeling up, and then, bam, he hit. No, actually, it looked like he hit at 50 feet. Yeah, that's, yeah. And that's where they are. Oh, stuffed it in his mouth. Holy shit. That's good. You gotta take it. Can't see it. Look at that. Oh my god. There's fish up to friggin' 20 feet. Now there's one more fish on the deck, number three. Number three, motherfucker? He's in the, he's about the size of yours. All right, so, so Michelle's disappointed. It's not, not as big as her last one, so it's terrible. Yeah, he's only 19. He's only 19, so that's terrible. The other one was 21, or no, 22. Bottom and I just reeled up slow. <laughs> there, and what's crazy is there's fish all the way up to 30, 40 feet. And now they say they come off the bottom at night. We've, we've never fished at night. We had them up 20, 30 feet, 40 feet. They usually stay down towards the bottom. Yeah. Well, earlier I was like, I 
think that, I think I see little spots, but then I wasn't quite sure, but they're sticking out more now than right behind you. Okay, so fucking Cabrera. That's a mutton. That's a mutton. I'm fucking ham. <laughs> All right, now that's too funny. Come on. I think that's still recording. Yes. You're going to need to hold this up. <laughs> Caught it on leftover ham from dinner the other Look day. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> the hell is this shit? Fucking Cabrera on ham? No, mutton. Mutton. Oh, mutton. Mutton, mutton, mutton on mutton. ham. <laughs> I went from actually good food to good food. It's smoked ham. It's smoked ham. It's smoked ham. Left over from the other night. From the north. <laughs> you have to tell Fern to lie on top of it. Fern, even the snapper like your hand. We took your ham fishing. Not because we didn't like it, because it was leftover. It was good stuff. The mutton's broke. And this thing hit hard. Didn't cut one like this in a while. This is a mutton snapper. And what we caught this on is a secret weapon. Ham. Smoked ham. Good ham, too. So we went from good food to good food. Not better, because the ham's pretty good. The first drop with the ham. Ham! Freaking ham! I don't see this shit out there on videos. I mean, come on. What the hell? Ham. I don't know. It's a nice ham, too. Uh, where's that? Wait. It's in the line. Oh, it's in the line thing? Is that why it was so That's heavy? That's why it's so heavy. I thought that would be the best place for it.
shaking its head like a uh, yellowtail. Why are you just coming up? You look comfy for the background hey, color. on that guy. Too. 28 inch mutton. It's actually been a while since we caught ones up to this size, but this guy I grabbed on and pretty fish. Aren't they pretty? Just a pretty, pretty fish. Come after that? Or did this finally, <laughs> was it like riding up with the other uh, fish? I think well, it was. I was reeling up. I had it up maybe 15 feet off the bottom when something happened. Oh, you had it 15 feet off the bottom? Yes, okay. and I don't know if he just got really excited after a second there or something. It's not shaking like a yellow tail though. I was catching yellow tails on the other side so I can get over here. It's a big cord. That's why he got excited. That's why he did not want to be caught. Nothing. 
today. Oh. It's either, it's either, it could be anything. I really oh don't my know. god. Is he here right in there? You need the hammer to get the nail? I need the hammer. <laughs> Another nice corgi. Mine's a little easier than that. See? I got this one stuck out. I bounced it barely. I didn't even bounce it on there. They just need something different. Shiny. show you this fish. What I use there is called a little Castmaster XL Acme. It's the company. And I'm only uh, mentioning them just because you can't find any other type of jig like this little guy. I don't know if it'll focus. And this is a three and a half inch 21 gram SWXL 100. And that size seems to work great. All I did was drop it down there. I barely even moved it. The shrimp wasn't working, and a redhead jig with shrimp wasn't working, so this worked. And I'll show you here in a second here. Twenty-eight inch mutton, same size as the last one, but on a Castmaster jig. I never get tired of this fish. Pretty, pretty, pretty.
activity disappeared again. It'll come back. There's stuff that keeps coming up a little bit. We decided to put up front. So. Three buttons so far. Guess, we're going to guess about 24, 25 inch mutton on that cast master jig. And that's how you lose a fish. You better bleed him. Wants to. It trickles out. Sometimes my asshole feels like that. Maybe he needs that. That looks like we'll have a little moonlight tonight. Up, we'll be, we won't be spending two nights. I was already thinking that when you brought up that the fourth mutton there, and I was like, Jesus. We, depending we may we not be able to. Well, it depends on what time we finish tomorrow. We might want to just stay over and then head in. Depends also, I mean, I mean it all depends on a lot of things. <laughs> I know. Because tonight we're going to have Cabrera. Right. In the other spot. And that's, that's, that's guaranteed. They're over there. Guaranteed fishing? The, the Cabrera? It's a mutton, or uh, it's a, uh, not a mutton, a uh, porgy. It's nice porgy. Yeah. Ooh, that's a net one. Oh, Sean. Did I get some interest in No, I just made you look. I think it would be a good idea to pull on your leader. Yeah, like that. No. Yellowtail. It's playing games with me. Good size yellowtail. 
He just poached. Look at him. Look at the size of the fatty. Look at that fatty. That one is a fatty show. Huh? Oh, his stomach just went back in. Kind of want to wait and keep yellowtail tomorrow. Okay. In case we end up getting a whole bunch of something. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's a good yellowtail. You know. Mm -hmm. He was a good fight too. He kept coming up and going back down. He kept coming up and going back down. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Here? Okay. Well, you see how it ran? Compared to like the mojo? Yeah. They're different, but they're it's a good pull. Yeah. It works. It's cheap. And Goliath. Beats the lion. Well, somebody inexperienced who doesn't know what they're doing would snap it in it like that. I just let that gain out as fast as I could. Because I couldn't put the bail up, it would have been harder. Catch your glides. down him. He's having a hard time going. I'm glad I split the change of split ring. Jesus. Cheap split rings. Hooks are good. Hooks are really good. I couldn't see it there. It's hard to see. If this is a if this is a grouper, I can. That's a grouper. No, it can't. Be. No way, that's a grouper. No, it's not. It's a big mutton. It's more like it. Found the found the horse. <laughs> Sunset mutton. <laughs> Sunset snapper. Oh, he's a mutton snapper, but. Got him at sunset on that Castmaster jig. 30 inches, 11 pounds, 4 ounces.
damn it. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> the blood all over your face. What'd you get? Wicked tuna. <laughs> A wicked blackfin. Blackfin. <laughs> Here, I'll use the dirty cloth. It's cleaner than that. This one's clean. No, I had to get the blood off. He came after it and he snagged it. He went after it and it mm -hmm. cooked, hit him in the side. We got a brief second of the fight, but whatever. Oh, God. by your nose. Been to battle. This is good. He fucking flopped. That's what happened. He bled out real well. Helps bleed him. Holy shit, I guess. the blood clot. <laughs> this, this meat should be a lot better now because we never bled them before. No. God, that's just, that was that was a fun fight. 30 pound test too. That was, that was turkey. Really nice. <laughs> All right, I think we threw off. Probably. Can we go to Bonfire at all? Not really. We got a lot of fish on board. I don't know, I'd kind of like to use up the shrimp. All right, so you want to just stay here? When? We could. When's the next fishing opportunity? I have no idea. All right, so we'll just use up the shrimp. Like we leave in the morning early. Yeah. yeah. This line is not even working at all. I thought it was just sort of when it took off like that. Yeah. We got some fish to smoke. I've been doing this with all of them. Look at the fun. Yeah. Look at a little boy coming out of it. That was a surprise. Yeah, he's not, he's not bad size. He's not quite as big as that other one you got. That was pretty cool. Yeah, this one's... Should be good. Look at this, look at this. They're back, they're back at the thing that they move. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what's hilarious though is the amount of history that requires time to stand up.